Hey guys, so today I'm going to be installing a hyper engineering soft starter on this three ton York slash Luxair, almost 23 year old air conditioner. I have a hard start in there now and uh, from previous tests, the uh, lock rotor amp without the hard start was around 77 and with the hard start, it seemed to be around 59 ish. Now this hyper engineering soft start is supposedly supposed to reduce it uh, to around um, only 30%. So in other words, it should take 70% of that uh, amperage away. Um, so that's what we're going to test here today. What we're going to do first though, it, before I begin, is just we're going to test the inrush or the max amps on startup uh, from the compressor. We're going to test that with the hard start kit in and then I'll remove the hard start kit and then we'll test it uh, with it out and then I'll go ahead and install the hyper engineering kit and we'll see how much it actually uh, reduces it. Now, the hyper engineering I do believe you need to start several times uh, for it to get the optimal settings. So we'll, we'll kind of measure that as well. Maybe we'll recycle it like five times and see uh, what that setting is after the fifth time. Alright, so we'll start by... I'm removing the cover here and getting access to the common wire uh, from the compressor. So here is the actual air conditioner. There, my uh, hard uh, my hard start kit. I think it's a five two one. You can see the relay up here, and there's the uh, start cap. Uh, start cap's right there, and there's the regular cap. That's a forty five five cap. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and. Uh, and plug this in and get this to come on and we're going to measure the inrush of the compressor with the hard start connected. Okay guys, well, I didn't film the actual install of the hyper engineering kit. Um, as I didn't, you know, my installation might be slightly different than your installation, uh, which is why I didn't want to uh, film the install. I did um, look at a video online, and the instructions were actually a little bit different than the instructions I got on my kit. And I think it's because my kit is newer. Like I said, I just ordered it. That video, I think, was eight years old. So um, I believe I got all the wires hooked up correctly. Uh, so it's either going to work or it's going to blow up, one of the two. And uh, we're going to get to see what it does. I haven't turned it on yet. So um, I got the bottom meter set to uh, max amps and I got the fluke here set to inrush and I got them clamped to the common terminal of the um, compressor. So. Uh, We'll see what happens here on the first run. The only thing I didn't like, and I saw this on the video, is uh, the active terminal, they give you two ends. You know, one end goes into the uh, hyper terminal there, and the other end they want to go into the uh, the contactor, but they give you this. Um, so basically what I did was I just um, stripped it and attached one of these on. And I'm sure the air conditioner came on. So as soon as I plug it in there, it's probably gonna come on. So uh, let's hope it doesn't spark and let's hope our amps, our starting amps go down somewhere uh, in the neighborhood of 20, give or take. So I'll try to get that on camera and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so here we go. But. Uh, we'll run it a few more tests and I'll compare the two again. Okay, this is uh, startup number two. The fluke will catch um, what it thinks is the inrush. Uh, and what happened there, I guess, is because this is probably, I don't know, the way that it, it ramps up, it probably caught the initial ramp, but then it didn't catch that second part on the fluke. 
So I think it actually caught the same thing the other meter did where it caught the initial four and then it ramped up a little more to 19. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm still happy with 19 because I believe that's probably right around 47 to 4,800 watts. Uh, so this was test four and look at this. So 17 times 240 is 4,000 watts. That's really good. All right, so I'm not sure what test number to cycle through, but Nineteen that time, which is a little worse than uh, seventeen we had before. And we're going to take the final uh, measurement here, and um, th the next step's going to be we're going to see if I can try to get my generator to start this air conditioner up. Now the challenge we're going to have is the two motors here, you know, the condenser motor, the compressor itself, and then the fan blower motor inside the house. Uh, combined all three of those uh, are going to run somewhere around the max of my two generators that I have hooked together so the next video is going to be an interesting test uh, to see if my two Honda EU 2000s can start this air conditioner up with the um, soft start kit so anyway this is the final um, reading I'm going to go ahead and it's going to come on as soon as I plug this in so let's get a shot and see what it is So that was pretty impressive. Uh, I don't know if it's going to do 16.2 all the time, but uh, very happy with this uh, soft start so far.